Hey, what's going on? This is Carl Thomas, and you're watching my exclusive interview backstage right here at 106 KMEL. Please believe it. Keep it locked. Ladies of KMEL backstage. Yes. With none other than Mr. Carl Thomas. There was a girl in the front row uh -huh. when we mentioned. Yeah. Just, Are you, you know, sure it was girl? It was. This, it was. One, this one, one was. was. This one was. This one was. And all he said was Carl, and she must have, she looked like she was going to spontaneously combust. She was like, Oh, no. Ah. That would have been messy for the entire audience. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen that on 60 Minutes. Uh, whoa. Not cute, not cute. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah. mess, big mess. So how you feel? I mean, the ladies was um, loving you. Man, it, it was, it's was really cool. You know, I, I played this venue once before. You know, but it's actually been about nine years. You know, and um, you know, the fans, you know, they respond. Uh, they respond to, I guess, what they live to. And the, and the, the good thing about coming out and doing something old, and then doing something a little new, and then doing something old, or what have you is that uh, people, you know, people monitor their life and times through music. Oh, yeah. And it's the greatest, it's, it really is, it's the greatest honor that you could ever pay any artist or performer to live your life to their music. And you know, when somebody says, oh wow, I, I really, I remember what was going on when that Carl Thomas record was out, or, you know, when I heard I Wish or I heard Summer Rain or whatever it was. You know, so that's like the biggest form of flattery and encouragement. And, and, and it really, you know, makes artists want to continue. You well, know? you got that love in music. Have you heard any crazy loving stories to your to your records? Mm. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've got some crazy stories. They probably wouldn't be that popular if I told everybody. Yeah. Please tell them. Please you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. Let's yeah, tell but, you know. Like that, right? You saw Kimmy said, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. You know, I'm aware, you know. Uh, but... Uh, I mean, sometimes I guess that comes with the comes with the territory. You have to deal, you know what I mean, with those fans who are kind of Don't obsessive, want it you? obsessive. Shall we oh. say, <laughs> obsessive? You know, obsessive. <laughs> You've had a night or two with the obsessed. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah, a night or two. Yeah, yeah, a night, yeah. Or, a night, or, a night or three yes. or four. So, a night or three know. or ten, twelve. Yeah. So you have this new joint now, right? Yeah, you yeah. Don't Oscar kiss me. Uh, 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 yeah. Um, Oh, first of all, you know, um, I'd like to say, you know, uh, shout out to Rico Love. Um, we were just uh, on the phone, and I asked, told him I was performing. He said, you doing Don't Kiss Me? I <laughs> hey. <laughs> said, yeah, yeah, I'm doing it, <laughs> you know. Uh, but Don't Kiss Me, uh, I wanted to start the Conquer Project off with a record that kind of feels like something you heard before, but you actually never have. So, you know, our goal in going to the studio and doing that record was trying to come up with something that was nostalgic, and at the same time, uh, you know, it, it, like to me, the record kind of, uh, it, it reaches out and it extends the olive branch, you know, the younger artists. You know, Rico was the perfect producer to enlist for that because uh, he definitely has his hand on the pulse of what reaches the heart right now. You know, so uh, that's really important that you start that, that you know, from the studio. And, um, you know, this, this album is dedicated, you know, to people who want to monitor their lives, you know, through soul music, man. You know? Yeah. I'm laughing at Miss Kimmy looking you up and down. No, I'm just, I'm just looking. I know he prefers me looking at him than some of them other things that we No, I mean, I'm just saying. No, I mean, I mean, it's quite okay. You know what I mean? Because that's, that's okay. you said it's quite, it's quite, quite okay. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. He's trying to go scoot this way. I have a program. I have a program for them all. Oh. You, you understand me? <laughs> we don't let some, we don't let some, we don't let some of Chicago come up. I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know. Like you got a juice box on I you. think you know what I'm saying. Well, all right. Anyway, all right. Anyway, right. Word, word, big bird. All right, all right. <laughs> we can turn this to a We're going to be over here while you have to do this. We're going to be scooting around. We got here. the purple couch. Yeah. That's all we need. Oh, come on, come on. I was, look, I was, I was, I was nestled bow, bow. in your bosom. <laughs> anyway, nestled, 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 nestled in the bosom. In the comfort <laughs> of so your bosom. So the album's called Conquer. In stores now. In stores now. Now, but I really want to, before I, before I, you know, Yada, I just really want to say thank you to everybody at KMEL for supporting my, my, my music, whether I have something fresh out or not, you know what I mean? They always reaching back, you know, I got crazy friends and family out here, you know, that kind of keep me abreast on what's going on even when I'm not here. So it just really means something to me, you know, for them to really be um, an R&B supporter in this market because, uh, you know, soul music nowadays really needs to be balanced out, I think. You know what I mean? It just needs a balance. And I don't really agree with the sentiment that, uh, you know, R&B is, you know, lacking these days or anything like that. I really think that there's a lot of great R&B artists out there. There's a lot of great songs out there. So go out there and support your local or favorite R&B artist. It don't matter if it's Carl Thomas, Tyrese, Trey Songs, whatever it is, get right. it in. All right? There it is. All right. All right. Your final words? 
Uh, that's my final word, unless you want to go ahead and, uh, you know what I mean, float the boat, Mrs. Robinson. I'm going to back this hey, way. Because <laughs> now y'all have a moment. You know, she, he's so she, great. Go well, you know, let the people know how they can reach out to you if they want to. You can reach out to me um, <laughs> on my website, first and foremost, my flagship, carlthomaslive.com. And then you can reach me on Twitter uh, at Mr. Underscore Carl Underscore Thomas or at C. Naron Thomas. Uh, you can reach me at The Real Carl Thomas on Facebook. Uh, you want to laugh and have a few chuckles, you can go to my YouTube page and uh -oh. watch me acting stupid out there on the road. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> that's also at Carl Thomas Live. So you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, we, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> House yeah. of Soul backstage, Carl Thomas. That's right. Yeah. <laughs>